Okay, so this is an advanced feature in Outlook. But if you are frequently scheduling meetings and looking for time to meet with an individual or groups of individuals, I highly recommend using this feature. So first of all, the feature is called Find Time and it's actually not built in Outlook, it's actually what's called an add-in. So what we have to do first is get the add-in Find Time. So here I am in the home menu and right towards the far right, I can see an icon called Get Add-ins. Let's click that. And if you don't see Find Time in the list, or you want to save yourself some time, rather than scrolling through the list of all the different add-ins, just search Find time. There we go. Now, I've already added this add-in to my Outlook, so I don't see the blue button, but you would see a blue button here in the top right corner that says Get Add-in, and you would simply click that blue button. Once you've added the Find Time add-in, you will see that add-in appear to the far right in the home menu bar. Now notice that again, it's kind of similar to the reply with meetings feature. I can select an email, for example, Jennifer uh, Espeo Harris-Simiak's email, and I could say reply with a meeting poll. Now I don't really want to reply to this email with a meeting poll. I don't need to meet with Jennifer and all of these individuals that were included in this email. However, maybe I want to create um, an email uh, and use find time to find a suitable meeting time. I'm simply going to come up to the top of the home menu bar and click new email. Now notice I have the find time add-in here inside this new email message. Before I click it, I'm going to go ahead and add the individuals I would like at this meeting. Now that I've added a few people, I can go ahead and add a subject. And then I can go ahead and click the new meeting poll in find time. Notice that a new meeting poll window for find time opens up along the far right side of your email. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is change the duration of the meeting from 30 minutes. We'll say that the meeting needs to be one hour. I'm going to leave work hours checked off and now I can start selecting dates and possible times for our meeting. So the first thing that I'll notice is that dates and times are sorted by availability. So where I see green for all three little people icons, that means that all three of us are free to meet. Other times listed below show one green person, but then others in red. This means that only one individual from the group included in this email is available to meet during those times and the others are busy with other appointments or meetings. So let's say that we want to select some time on Friday the 1st. So I would make sure that I've selected the date the 1st and then I could go ahead and select a few different times. I can also scroll through the calendar and select other days and times. So let's also look for some time on Tuesday, February 5th. And then maybe on the 14th. All right, notice on the bottom it tells me how many times have been selected. I'm offering a poll of 12 different times, including three different days to meet. Once I'm ready, I go ahead and click the next button here at the bottom right of the screen. 
I can see the selected times. And if I actually scroll up, I can enter a location and I can set whether this will be an online meeting or check that off for an offline meeting or a face-to-face -face meeting. Once I have looked over my dates and times, I can then click insert to email. And Find Time has now created my invitation. What's going to happen is when I hit send, my recipients are going to receive an email that looks similar to what you see on my screen. They'll be able to cl uh, click on the Select Options button, and then they will be able to vote for the day and time that works best for them to meet with me. Their votes will then be sent to me as the meeting organizer. And from there, I'll be able to set the official day and time for the meeting.